One of the most common ways teachers are using Google Meets in their classroom is to open up two copies of the same Meet so that you can monitor students and also present. But many teachers are finding that that's causing an audio feedback problem. So today on Teacher Tech on the Trail, we're going to take a look at how we can easily solve that audio feedback problem. So since Google Meets is going to play such a huge part of our learning environments in the coming months, uh, you've probably started to play with it and you might have found a feedback problem. One of the main things that we're going to be doing in our classrooms a lot is using two Google Meets to monitor on one side students while still being able to present. And while that offers a lot of options for us and a lot of flexibility to a teacher, there is a slight hiccup about it creates feedback by having two different uh, Google Meets going on at the same time. And so I want to show you really quick a trick on how we're going to set up that Google Meet so that you are not going to have that feedback when you have that audio feedback when you have two of the same Google Meet going on. So if you notice, if I bring up Google Meet here, I have two of the same Google Meet happening. Now I've turned off the camera and there's no one in this one just because uh, it, just the setup. But if I take off the mic here in a second, we can see if we can get the feedback that's going to happen. So if I take the mic off here and I take the feed mic off here, we can see if we can find that feedback happening. Well, it's not, that's okay. But in your classrooms, it is absolutely happening. And going around the school buildings, I've seen it myself, you get a nice high pitched squeal from the feedback from one mic going to the speakers and back and forth. So let me show you the easiest ways to fix that. The first thing I would do is I would go to whichever one you are using to watch students. Uh, most I've seen a lot of educators are putting that on a wipe smart board or they're projecting it or using one of the larger desktop screens. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your mic is muted on that. So making sure that the mic is muted. The second thing is we don't want to mute the whole computer because if you're doing that, you're going to lose all your sound videos or anything else that you're running. And so we just want to mute the tab or the site. And that's actually really simple to do that. You're going to click up here. You're going to go over to the tab and right click on it. And you're going to see it's going to bring up a menu of options for you. New tab, move tab, and we're going to click mute site. Now mute site will only mute that tab and so that it will cut down on that feedback. And so if you're showing a video or something else, you can still hear that going on. You can still hear students in your other Google Meet, but it's gonna cut down on that feedback loop that's creating the audio. So very quickly, making sure that on one of your Google Meets, you have muted the microphone and muted the tab. So keep going and we're gonna have a great start of the year. Keep moving forward.